everyone. I'm Steve Erickson. And I'm Ron Johnson. I'm the technical director for EliteHockeyShooters.com. And I've asked Steve to come on board to co-host this program with me on shooting and skill development. How did you get involved in it and how did it all evolve in the first place? Well, uh, X-Hockey Products and XHockeyProducts.com and .ca have, uh, they really are, are a platform that they, on the internet that really is to promote development for the hockey player. And they're uh, a provider of elite hockey training equipment uh, from different suppliers, of course, or like a, uh, it's a vendor, if you will. And the owners are Bryce Salvador and Peter Ring, and we discussed several times that there seems to be uh, a real lack of communication on skill development for players and for, for coaches and for parents. And, and really it was to build out a platform from which to do so. It's interesting, you know, you, you talk to parents, you go to a different rink, the rink, whichever one you might go to, regardless of where you go in Canada or the United States. It's always interesting because everybody has their own unique philosophy as to how to teach specific individuals, albeit maybe boys or young girls, the proper technique to do stuff. Well, that's, that's correct. And really what we're talking mm -hmm. about is really a standardization, Steve. You know, one of the problems that we have is that there's no book that you can go to. I mean, a lot of the tactical stuff that we talk about, it's very common amongst coaches. We know what a three on two is. We know what flow is we know certain terminology you know relative to systems but it really comes down to uh, skill development and mechanics you know biomechanical applications and wording and stuff like that we really find that there's a a really poor understanding and a poor uh, there's poor reference material out there really for people to go to and really try to figure out what skill really is the thing about this form that we're going to put together it will be an instructional form where the parents do not have to go to a rink and find out or search an individual to come out and help them out, and they can just come to the website and take it from there. Well, I think what I, you know that is correct. I think what I'm trying to accomplish, you know, in what I do and being a biomechanist is really is provide a very simple foundation, so that parents really can come to the show and start to understand really what is shooting, you know, what is skill, and you know, one of the one of the analogies that I use the comparisons really is if you think of skill much like the letters of the alphabet. You know, we have, we have words, and really words are made of letters. And if you think of skill, and we talk about maybe even, you know, a crossover, for example, or a wrist shot, really what a, those skills are made of is what we call micro skills. And it's a, it's a word that I've used over and over again to try to get kids to understand that within each skill, there's tiny, tiny components called micro skill elements. And really, that's really the same, you know, foundational principle that we talk about when we build sentences and words. We, if we don't have a clear understanding of what those mechanical elements are, then really we can't move forward. Because really, like a, a wrist shot, for example, has 26 micro skill elements. And that seems like a lot, but really when we break down the small hand movements, the hand positions and things like that, it's really a lack of understanding that, that parents have or kids have, or even coaches have for that matter, to provide a, a really simple platform for kids to build on. Well, the interesting part about that is you mentioned about 26 different elements. Ironically, you mentioned about the alphabet. Same number, going 26. They all coincide with each other. But it's to find that picture-perfect one that you can pick off of and choose because one doesn't go without the other. Yeah, exactly. And what happens, you'll find, like working with all the kids that I do, you'll find that one tiny micro skill is you know, one other player's weakness. And yet a, a completely different player, it's another one. And so what happens is it's not really... You can put together a show and you can explain what the skills are, but really one of the key elements is the diagnostic, is when you look at a kid, you go, well, I have to go to micro skill element number 12. I know it sounds goofy, but you know, just to make an example, where you say, well, this is the one that his problem is. And you look at another boy and there's a different problem. And, and it's basically starting the foundation. So when we talk about the skills in shooting, we're gonna be talking about the micro skill enhancement, a tiny exercise that players can do at home, takes a couple of minutes to build that one tiny thing that actually is the problem in their overall technique. I'm finding that parents nowadays, and this is the other good thing about the, the forum that we're doing, is that now everybody is using the video system to replay what they're doing right because you can tell people, I don't care who it is, you tell them what they're doing wrong and some of them will always second guess you, but when you show them and they watch it over and over, then they can yeah, understand. It's funny it. you should say that. You, see, you know, I was on this this morning <clears throat> as an example. and. Uh, I always carry my camera um, on the ice with me and I was showing one of the boys doing something and we had kind of a chuckle over it because he kept saying, well, I'm not doing that. And yeah. I says, well, the kids are going, well, the camera doesn't lie. And we're looking at it and we all get a good chuckle out of it because really the, the technique was right in front of his eyes. What he was missing, you know, the foot was in the wrong position. But, you know, what we think 
we're doing and what we're actually doing. Like I said, video is the wave of the future. And, and so really in the show, that's what we're going to be doing. We'll be showing examples, but really is try to create a language or a standardized language, if you will, that we can, we can start from. And it should be understood, too, that what we're doing with the cameras, it's not to embarrass any individual as to what they're doing. It's just to teach them the proper format as to how it do correct. Oh, absolutely. And, and I'll provide examples of that in the show where we can look at, uh, you know, some professional players and amateur players and look at tiny techniques that they're doing right or wrong and, and really expand on that. Big comparison. Don't touch the dial. We're coming back and we'll have our first episode right after this. Thank you for logging on.